today I'm going to tell you all about heat recovery ventilation. I'm going to show you the unit that I've chosen for my home. Then I'm going to talk to you about how I've installed it and how I've integrated it into Home Assistant. Modern houses are being built much more airtight and with far more insulation. Because of this, we need to consider ventilation. We need to get rid of old stale impurities such as CO2, volatile organic compounds, as well as moisture, most importantly. So in order to do this, we ideally need a two-fan system. One fan to draw the damp air from bathrooms and kitchens, and another one to supply fresh air to areas like bedrooms and living areas. Ideally, we want to use a heat exchanger. So what happens as it draws the fresh air in, it will preheat that fresh air using a heat exchanger where the, the old stale warm air is passing along the other side of the heat exchanger, giving its energy over to the incoming air. I chose to use a Stiebel Eltron unit. I chose that because it's a German engineered system. It has a really well designed fan system, so it's not too noisy. So once I've installed the system, what I'm going to do is I want to automate it as much as possible into Home Assistant. So there's three areas I'm going to look at. The first area is I'm going to measure the power consumption of the unit. The second area is I want to control the boost control. So when I have a shower, I want it to automatically boost the airflow for a certain amount of time. The third thing I want to do is I want to have a look at the temperature and humidity, both coming from the unit and coming from the house. So as this is not a Wi-Fi device, I needed to create my own monitoring and control systems. So the first thing I've done is I've installed two of those Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensors, one in the supply pipe coming into my house and one in the extract pipe coming out of my house. So you can see here that I'm extracting my humidity at 41% today and 25 degrees Celsius and my supply is coming in at 45% humidity and 24 degrees supply temperature. Now ideally I want to install another two sensors so that I can actually see the values coming into my machine from the outside so I'll be adding that at a later stage. I've then got my boost ventilation switch so what I've done there is I've used a garage door opener relay to do this because it gives me that little pulse press and then finally I'm using a standard uh, smart plug to give me my watts of power. So for example now, for some reason or other, I need to do a on and off to actually trigger it. So you'll see there now that the power will go up. So we've been using 40 watts, but you'll see that as it goes into boost mode, it's going to start ramping up. There we go. So you can see 52 watts, and you'll just see it slowly ramping up. And as you can see, when it goes into the boost mode, it goes at about 80 watts. So 40 watts is my nominal um, down in power one, it comes down to around 29 watts, but my peak usage for both fans is 80 watts. So it's a really energy efficient system. Now, the way that the boost switch works, the automation that I've created here, if we go to our automations and we go to our boost system, what I've done, I'm having a look at the meter in my bathroom. Um, I'm measuring the humidity and the moment it goes above 80%, I am only triggering this if it's during the daytime so after five and before nine because I don't want this to kick in in the middle of the night should I have a very humid night for some reason because that might wake me up in the middle of my sleep. So um, what I've done now is I've turned on the boost switch so this is literally just a relay that I've connected it's a garage door opener relay I'll leave you a link in the description below to the unit that I've used. So the only thing that I discovered was that I actually needed to press it twice in order to get it to work. So I've turned it on, delay for three sections, seconds, and then turn it off. So overall, I'm really impressed with this so far. I'm going to keep monitoring it, see what else I can do for automations. Let me know what you think. Thanks for your time. Bye for then.